welcome to week 4 topic 3 now in this topic of this week we will take up the difference between two correlated means this is pertaining to correlation between two measures of two different conditions that is the degree of association of two random variables there are various methods of determining the difference between two correlated means some of the important methods are single group method, differential method, parallel group method, etc. The method to be used depend upon the nature of the study. Let us first discuss one by one. Single group method. A test is administered to a group of students followed by giving a special intervention, maybe coaching, training or orientation to the same group of students. The same test is administered on them again at the end of the intervention. Now let us compare the result of first test with the result of second test. Standard error of difference is equal to SEM1 square plus SEM2 square minus 2R12 that is coefficient of correlation between the two score first score and second score minus 2 r 1 2 into standard error of m1 standard error of m2 so where se m1 called standard error of mean of first test se m2 standard error of mean of second test as we know r 1 2 that is called coefficient of correlation between the score of first test and second test. Let us consider the whole thing with the help of an example. Average computational skill of a group of 90 diploma students is found to be 42 with standard deviation 6. After a giving a special intervention of one month, the same test was administered and the average was found to be 48 with standard deviation 5. Coefficient of correlation between the first test and second test is 0.45. Test whether the students has made significant development due to special treatment or not. We need to test it at 0 0.01 level of significance. If you analyze the whole question, you find that there are two groups, group 1 group 2 mean of group 1 that is standard error of mean is equal to SD 1 by root over of N1 standard deviation of group 1 is 6 by root over of 90 which is equal to 0.62 similarly standard error of group 2 that is SEM 2 is equal to SD 2 by root over of N2 5 by root over of 90 which is equal to 0.53 now let us put the values in the formula that is standard error of difference is equal to square of SEM1 plus square of SEM2 minus 2 R12 that is coefficient of correlation SEM1 into SEM2. By substituting the value and further simplification you will find that standard error of difference found to be 0 0.60. Now, the difference capital D that is difference between two mean 48 minus 42 so T is equal to D by SED so difference is 6 by 0 0.60 which is equal to 10 so our calculated value is found to be 10 this is a one tell test as the question is meant for to test whether the student has made significant development due to the treatment. Therefore, this is considered to be a one tail test. Our degree of freedom is n minus 1, 90 minus 1, which is equal to 89. Referring to table for degree of freedom 89, critical value of t at 0 0.01 level of significance is 2.38. So the calculated value is 10 which is greater than the critical value 2.38. Hence, 
there is a significant development due to the special training we are 99% correct in stating that there is a significant development in computational skill of diploma students due to the special training given for a month let us consider another one method that is the differential method this is one of the easy and convenient method for a small group of sample we take the difference between two set of scores and then calculate the mean and standard deviation for the set of scores let us example the concept with the help of a an example we will take a new example let our example is a group of 10 youth of 20 years age from a village were identified for providing a special training on organic farming a test was administered to assess their knowledge and skills in organic farming the scores before training were 12 9 6 5 7 15 10 12 6 and 16 the same test was administered after the training the set of scores obtained after the training were 15 14 10 9 13 18 13 14 10 and 18 test whether there is a significant difference between the mean of two set of scores now try to understand the whole analysis the first column represent scores of the youth before training which is already given in the question the second column represent scores of the youth after training which is also given in the question the third column represent difference between the two scores x1 minus x2 if x1 is the scores before training x2 is the score after training the third column is the difference between the two scores the fourth column represent x that is score minus mean we need to find out the mean the mean score of the difference that is 3.6 now for individual score we need to find out the deviation of the difference of each score from the mean the fourth column represent deviation of each score from the mean difference from the mean difference the fifth column represent the square of the deviation now on calculation you will find that the sum of the square of the deviation is equal to 14.04 so standard deviation of difference is equal to sum of square of the deviation by n minus 1 root over on substituting the values we will get standard deviation of difference is equal to 1.56 standard error of difference SED is equal to standard deviation by root over of n which is equal to 1.56 by root over of n our n is 10 that is sample size is 10 on substituting the value we will get 0.49 so t is equal to d by SED d represent mean difference that is mean difference by SED 3.6 by 0.49 which is equal to 7.35 so degree of freedom is 10 minus 1 which is equal to 9 now let us refer to table with degree of freedom 9 critical value of t at 0 0.05 level is equal to 0.83 so 7.35 that is the calculated value our critical value is 1.83 that is 7.35 is greater than the critical value 1.83 so the difference between the two mean is significant at 0 0.05 level therefore the mean has increased due to special training that is knowledge and skills of rural youth on organic farming has increased with special training imparted to them now let us call test at 0 0.01 level the critical value of t at 0 0.01 level 
is equal to 2.82 on comparing 7.35 is greater than 2.82 that is calculated value is greater than the critical value so the difference between the two mean is significant at 0 0.01 level as well therefore the mean has increased due to special training we are 99 percent confident that knowledge and skills of rural youth in organic farming has increased with special training imparted to them and we are 99 percent confident in stating this statement and only we are taking one percent risk in accepting the hypothesis the fourth that is another one type of a method that is the parallel group design this is very important particularly in case of experimental study those who are involved in experiment experimental studies this method is very important this method generally we use in experimental research that is why making a comparison between the experimental group and the control group there are two ways of forming the group those who are doing the experimental method it is very important to have a thorough understanding on how to form the group let us consider the case one if two equivalent groups are formed with matched pair that is matching is done by pairs each individual in the first group has a match in the second group so number of individual in the first group is equal to the number of individual in the second group standard error of difference is equal to sem1 square plus sem2 square minus 2 r12 that is coefficient of correlation into sem1 into sem2 already we know sem1 represents standard error of mean of group 1 sem2 represents standard error of mean of group 2 r12 represents coefficient of correlation between the two scores of group 1 and group 2 as well let us consider the whole thing with the help of an example we will take a new example on the basis of the scores obtained in an achievement test in mathematics two equivalent groups are formed such that one experimental group and one control group experimental group is given a special training special treatment for one month after a month the same test was administered to both the groups the final scores of two groups are represented in the form of a table let us consider the table we have a experimental group we have a control group the total number of the sample in experimental group is 30 control group is 30 mean of experimental group is 74.8 control group mean is 67.1 standard deviation of experimental group is 12.7 and control group is 14.1 the coefficient of correlation between the scores of the two group is 0.8 test whether the mean of the experimental group increased due to special training at a different level of significance we need to test at 0.5 level of significance and 0.1 level of significance let us first calculate standard error of mean of group 1 that is sem1 which is equal to standard deviation by root over of n which is equal to 12.7 by root over of 30 which comes around 2.31 similarly standard error of mean of group 2 is found to be 5.46 let us put the values in the formula standard error of difference we will get the standard error of difference is 4.64 what is t t is equal to d by sed d is the difference between the two mean if we put the values 74.8 minus 67.1 divided by 4.64 standard error of difference we will get the value 1.6 so our calculated value is 1.6 what is the degree of freedom degree of freedom is number of sample minus 1 30 minus 1 which is equal to 29 we need to test with degree of freedom 29 
referring to table critical value at point zero five level, we will get the critical value is that that is the table value is one point seven zero. Let us compare the critical value with the calculated value. The calculated value one point six is smaller than the critical value one point seven. So the difference between the two mean is not significant at point zero five level. Though there is increase in the mean of the experimental group due to special training, however, we are ninety five percent confident that the difference is not significant. It is due to means the small difference which is coming is just because of sampling error. That is fluctuation in sampling between the two groups. Now move to the second case. If the two groups are matched by pairs. In the first case, we have examined if the two groups are matched by pair. Let us consider if the two groups are not matched by pair. They are matched, but the pairing is not done. The matching is done in a different way. That is matching in terms of mean and standard deviation. The two groups are not necessarily the same size. The size of the two groups may differ. Suppose we have. Formed two groups, that is two equivalent group, whose size is different, but their mean and standard deviations are nearly same. A separate test was administered on these two groups. We need to compare the mean score of two groups on second test. Let us find the standard error of difference. The formula for standard error of difference is square of AC M1 plus square of AC M2 into 1 minus R12. That is 1 minus coefficient of correlation between the first and second test. As we know, SE M1 represents standard error of mean of group one. SE M2 represents standard error of mean of group two. And R12 that is coefficient of correlation between the first test and the second test. Now, if you put the values, you will get. The t value. Again, taking the t value, we can find out the table value. Now, exactly in the previous way we have done, we can compare the table value with that of the calculated value. On the basis of which we can assess whether the null hypothesis is to be accepted or rejected. Now, this is what this is what is left to you to carry out. and assess whether there is a significant difference between the two groups or not you are going to respond to the forum questions review the additional course resources and assess yourself with the reflective questions and a quiz at the 6th day of the week finally you are requested to take up the assignment for your course completion which is very important and respond to the end survey questionnaire as well wish you All the best for your learning